Hello everyone, Carrie Bradford here, and today I'm going to show you how you can add a word to a box or a, you know, or a frame so that you can add that and overlay it over a photo or just to have it be plain or whatever it is that you'd like. As you can see, I've got um, this particular shape up. It says Happy Holidays. All I want is the holidays part, so I'm just going to right click and choose Ungroup and just move Happy over there to this side. And the next what I want to do is I'm going to come over here and grab my rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Then I'm going to click on it, come up to our size scale window, and I am going to put in a width of 6 inches and a height of 4 inches. So that's about the size of a photo. And then what I want to do is I want to offset that so that we can make our you know outer frame that we're working with. So I'm going to come to our offset window and then I want to do an internal offset and we are going to set this at 0.125 and click apply and that gives us this nice little border in here so that it makes it a frame that that's what we're going for. Now just to help in the whole process of everything I'm going to show you how you make this right now silhouette is looking at this as a shape on a shape. If I were to click on this, fill it with color, come to my fill color, and click on pink, you can see that it's turned that back one to pink. And then if we come over here, that is now orange. So it's looking at the whole entire piece as a pink shape with an orange shape on top. What we want to do is we want to make it a compound path so that it actually silhouette looks at it as a whole so that as we weld everything together then it it welds it all correctly so I'm just going to go ahead and select both those items right click and choose make compound path now you can see it has changed that frame to be more of a frame with a hole in it versus the shape on shape so now that we have our little frame I'm just going to move this holidays up into here like so and I think I want to size it down a little bit so that I have a little bit of room. What we're going to do is we're going to draw off of this and make this, you know, fun little swirly or, you know, whatever it is that we want to do with that. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this. And I, let's see, it looks like I have it about, you know, roughly two inches high by 3.7 inches wide. So you can kind of get it in that same ballpark. And now what we're going to come do is we're going to grab our freehand tool and we're just going to kind of go and click and hold and drag the mouse and kind of connect it up there. So that kind of gives us this a line that we can work with. And if we want to modify it, you know, we could. Let's just zoom in here a little bit. And if we double click on it, you'll see that we get these editing points. And what you can do is like this one, see how this one has kind of made it a little, you don't see, it's not quite as smooth. So I'm going to click on that point, right click, and choose delete point. And now what I can do is grab these handles here and kind of turn and make that curve to be exactly where it is that I want. You can see I'm just kind of clicking and dragging those and kind of making it how exactly it is that I want. And I'm going to, let's see, maybe even delete that point. And then I'm going to, again, extend this out and maybe bring this up a little bit here. So you can see I'm kind of trying to get this flow of a line that goes from the edge of the frame to my holiday so that as we make this line that we want to cut, you know, part of the shape, then we've got it all ready. I think I want to move this so that it kind of flows just a little bit more into that and set that down so that it's in the center of the, the two sides of that holiday there. Okay, so now I'm just going to select my line and I'm going to zoom in so that I can pay attention to this spot right here. And I'm going to choose an offset and of course it defaults to a quarter inch and that's way, 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 way too big. I'm gonna bring it on down. Mm, 0.15 is a little bit too small. Let's try 0.02 and let's see how that fits. That is looking like it's going to fit pretty good. I think that's going to work. I think that that looks pretty good there. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and zoom back out. And I want to get rid of that center line. 
So you can see we can just move it on out or just go ahead and press delete. And now we are left with this lovely little line that's going to connect all up. Let's go ahead and just fill it with color. I'm just gonna go ahead and select it, choose my fill color, and I'm just gonna use my eyedropper and click on the red. So now we can kind of see the, how it's going there. And actually let's kind of, let's maybe adjust that just a little so that it kind of smooths those lines out just a little bit more. Alrighty, That's, that looks, well, pretty good. Maybe it's not quite where I would do it, but this is supposed to be really fast. So you're getting the idea. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to connect this all together. And so to do that, we want to go ahead and select it all, and we can choose Weld, right-click, Weld. And now it's made it all one piece. And so if you wanted to, you could go ahead and just cut this off if it was going into, say, like a Project Live. You could just cut that off, but you know, it kind of looks cool going over it um, so that you can do it, you know, put it on a, a picture or whatever for the holidays. So there you go. Um, you know, if I were to really want this to be more precise, I probably would have fixed that so that it was a little more smooth. But anyway, it works. You know how to do it now, and now it's all, you know, ready for you to go ahead and have some fun with it. Okay, thanks for stopping by.